Hi, this is Kannu Babu. This part eight of SQL Server FAQs. In this video, I will discuss about what is the difference between primary key constraint and unique key constraint in SQL Server. So, first of all, primary key and unique key both are unique actually. It means that primary key will not allow duplicate values. Unique key also will not allow duplicate values. Primary key will not allow null values. Unique key will allow only one null value. So here let us see, I will try to create what one uh, table in my SQL server. I will use the database usd and I will try to create a table. Create table, table name, column name, data type, primary key, comma, column name, data type. So command completed successfully. Now here I have right click on my tables, refresh. The name of my table is demo. Right click on demo, edit top 200 rows. Here I will try to insert the values 101 and here I will give jdip. And here I'll give again 101, here I'll give one nil. So you'll get an error saying that violation of primary key constraint cannot insert duplicate key in demo table. Is it clear? Because primary key will not allow what? Duplicate values. So here I'll give something like 103, here I'll give as what? Ajay. Is it clear? Similarly, if I give something like Sunil, and here if you see here, you'll get an error message saying that cannot insert the value null into the column e number because primary key will not allow what null values is it clear primary key will not allow duplicate values as well as null values and uh, here one more important point is why primary key will not allow uh, null values means because whenever you try to apply what primary key constraint then automatically not null constraint will be applied on the primary key column and that not null constraint will not allow you to insert null values and here one more important point whenever you try to apply primary key constraint then automatically clustered index will be applied on the primary key column here if you go to the indexes you can see one index was applied so what is the advantage of index means indexes are used for fast taxing of data and this cluster index will arrange the data in ascending order for example if you want you can say i'll try to truncate the table truncate table table name what is my table name demo press f5 now here you see now here if you observe clearly whenever i will try to insert the record for example i will insert 103 ajay and then i will insert 101 vijay and then i will insert 104 anil then i will insert 102 sunil something like this so whenever i will try to insert the data in this table and i have not inserted the data in ascending order but whenever you try to execute this uh, uh, query, then automatically all the records will arrange the data in ascending order. One, not 1, 2, 3 as well as what? 4. So by default, primary key constraint will arrange the data in ascending order. Why it will arrange the data in ascending order? Because of what? Clustered index. That is whenever we try to apply primary key constraint on a column, then automatically clustered index will be applied on the primary key column. And that clustered index will arrange the data in ascending order. And here one more important point is that we can apply only one primary key constraint on a single table. We cannot apply more than one primary key constraint. If you want, you can apply the primary key constraint for combination of columns. What is that? We'll discuss in the next session. Okay, now we'll discuss about unique key constraint. Unique key constraint will not allow duplicate values. Unique key constraint will allow null values, but only one null value. Let us see here. I'll try to create a table. Create table demo2. Demo to column name, column name I'll give e number, data type int, comma column name I'll give e name, e name here I'll give data type as what, where care, where care of 20, something like this, and I want to apply unique key, unique, unique key constraint for e number column, so just to press F5, now here I'm creating a table with name demo to with column name e number as well as e name, now here if you try to observe clearly, right click on the tables, refresh, there you can see one table with name what demo2. Here you open the table. There you can see the columns. There you can see two columns are there. And here if you open the constraints, keys, then automatically one uh, uh, constraint name was given for the unique key. And whenever you try to apply any constraint like primary key or unique key, then automatically system will generate what constraint name. Here also you can see. What is the advantage of this constraint name? is it is used to drop the constraint like if you want to identify the primary key constraint or unique key constraint you can identify by using constraint name 
So what is the constant name? Constant name is the name given for the constraint. What is the purpose of the constraint name? It is used to identify the constraint. So here, uh, right click on demo two table, edit top 200 rows. Here you can see, I will try to insert the value 101 Anil. And again I will insert 101, here I will insert Sunil. Now we will get error. Cannot insert duplicate value in the data table demo 2 because unique key will not allow what duplicate values. So here I will give 102, it is valid. Now I will insert null value, here I will give Ajay. Now here you see, E number, it is allowing which value? Null value. I applied unique key constant on E number column, it is allowing what? Null value. Now I will insert one more null value. Some uh, Jaydeep I will give. And here if I press tab, you will get an error. Saying that cannot insert duplicate value. Which means what unique key constraint will not allow what? Two null values. It will allow only one null value. Why it will not allow two null values means unique key constraint will not allow what? Duplicate values. If two null values it will consider as what? Duplicate. So it will raise error. So 103 press F. This is very important interview question. Sometimes an interview they will ask you that how many um, null values that unique key constraint will accept. It will accept only one null value. It will not accept two null values because it will not allow duplicate values. And one more important point is that we can apply more than one unique key constraint on a single table. And here whenever you try to apply unique key constraint, then automatically non-clustered index will be applied on unique key column. Is it clear? Whenever you try to apply primary key constraint, then cluster index is applied. And whenever you try to apply unique key constraint, the non-cluster index will be applied. And it will not arrange the data in any order. Is it clear? If you want to drop the constraint, you can drop. Here you see the differences between primary key and unique key. Primary key will not allow duplicate values, whereas unique key also will not allow duplicate values. Primary key will not allow null values. Unique key will allow null values but only one null value. We can apply only one primary key constraint on a single table. We can apply more than one unique key constraint on a single table. Primary key constraint will have constraint name. Unique key constraint will have constraint name. Whenever we apply primary key constraint, then automatically cluster index will be applied on the primary key column. And that cluster index will arrange the data in ascending order. Whenever we apply unique key constraint, then automatically non-cluster index will be applied on unique key column. By default, primary key will arrange the data in ascending order because of clustered index. Unique key will not arrange the data in any order. Whenever we apply primary key constraint, then automatically not null constraint will be applied on primary key column and that not null constraint will not allow you to insert null values. Whenever you apply unique key constraint, then automatically null constraint will be applied on unique key column and it will allow null values. Syntax to apply primary key constraint at the time of creating the table. Create table, table name, column name, data type, primary key. Unique key constraint, create table, table name, column name, data type, unique. Syntax to apply primary key constraint at the time of creating the table by using constraint name. Create table, table name, column name, data type, constraint, constraint name, primary key. The syntax to apply unique key constraint is create table, table name, column name, data type, constraint, constraint name, unique. Syntax to apply primary key constraint after creating the table. Alter table, table name, add primary key of column name. Here, alter table, table name, add unique of column name. And if you want to apply by using constraint name, alter table, table name, add constraint, constraint name, primary key of column name. Unique key constraint is alter table, table name, add constraint, constraint name, unique of column name. And syntax to drop the primary key constraint, alter table, table name, drop constraint, constraint name. Here you see, if you want to view the constraint name, here you can see. Go to the table, my table name is demo, there you can see what? Keys, below that you can see constraint name, right click rename, copy this one. And here if you want you can drop the constraint, alter table, table name, my table name is demo, drop constraint, drop constraint, constraint name, press F5, command completed successfully. Now here right click refresh, whenever you drop primary key constraint, then primary key constraint is removed, but actually not null constraint is not removed. 
because whenever you try to apply primary key constraint then automatically not null constraint will be applied on the primary key column as, I, as we discussed earlier but here when you drop the primary key constraint not null constraint is not removed only primary key constraint is removed and similarly if you want to drop uh, um, unique key constraint if you want to drop unique key constraint you can drop like this alter table table name my table name is demo to drop constraint constraint name here you right click on the case refresh here you see unique key constraint is what remote here you see right click on demo to refresh and there you can see the columns unique key is removed there is no constraint so this is how you can work with what this is the main differences between primary key and unique key constraint for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and facebook group thank you have a nice day